Okay, so right now I'm going to show you what pisses me off about the boxing media in fucking America, okay? Um, and obviously I'm not talking about Mr. Jerry Coney here. I respect Jerry Coney, but you'll see in this video what I'm referring to. Fuck Anthony Joshua, fuck Eddie Hearn, fuck their fans, and fuck his little dick riders. Fuck Beats and Rhymes, Lady Chan, and the rest of them. Go Uzik. Let's keep, let's, let, let, let's start this off. Um, Usyk is going to be a tough task for you. Cock and Barack. Okay. Two notoriously dumb dickheads from New York. New York B. That don't know shit about boxing, but somehow work on his own. And they had fucking a few amateur fights, so that obviously makes, <laughs> makes them experts on, on fucking everything. So, let's continue. If you don't... Um, Usyk is going to be a tough task, but yes, I do think uh, a confident AJ can overwhelm Usyk because he's just that much bigger. If you want to see that Joshua that was threatening to dominate Brazil, like you're not about that life. Watch your mouth. Okay, l l let's 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 break that down. You think Anthony Joshua be can beat Usyk because? you're a fucking, you have an agenda and that you're trying to push because he's black and you're black, so you feel the need you have to push that agenda. Um, let's just keep it real now. I don't care, but let's be honest here. That's the reason why you think AJ can win, is because you don't want to see the white guy upset the golden goose in your company that you work for in the zone. Take him out Let's, of his comfort zone. If you can, you win. If you don't, you're going to be the same fight. Um, Usyk is going to be a tough task, but yes, I do think uh, a confident AJ can overwhelm Usyk because he's just that much bigger. If you want to see that Joshua that was threatening to dominate Brazil, like, you're not about that life. Watch your mouth. Imagine comparing Alexander Usyk to Dominic Brazil. Imagine comparing Alexander Uzik to a fight that happened what? Let's let's have a look. Nope. To a fight that happened how long ago? Against a bomb? So you're comparing you want Anthony Joshua to win because you both happen to be of African descent, and you compared him to Uzik, the greatest cruiserweight in the history of boxing, to a bum that Anthony Joshua fought six years ago. Now, where the logic is in that, it, it, try to pay attention to what people say, man. If you break it down, people are really, like George Carlin used to say, God rest, his, God rest his soul, the last real philosopher and the greatest stand-up comedian in history. Um, like he used to say, think of how stupid the average person is. Now try understanding that half of them are stupider than that. So you compared Oleksandr Uzik to a fucking bum football player that started boxing when he was 25 years old that he that Anthony Joshua K TKO'd six years ago it doesn't get any fucking stupider and more biased than that people um how these men have jobs and well-paying jobs at that is mind-boggling to me um not to mention it's disrespectful but let's continue. You know, that's the kind of job we want to see. And Usyk, we know, is going to come in there prepared mentally and physically. You talk about this old AJ. That guy, that guy's gone. That was a youthful guy. It was millions of years ago when he won the world title. Six or seven years. That guy's gone. That was a 24, 20, 25, 26 one. This guy's a mature 32 year old man. Everything's a bit heavier, everything's a little bit slower, and everything needs to be a little bit smarter. So, so, the, so what you're saying about whether his head's in the right place, we equate that to a ring intelligence. He's got that ring intelligence. Okay, if his head's not in the right place, Place, then it does not equate to ring intelligence, you stupid fucking... Who the fuck is this guy? 
is my question. And why is he being interviewed as to break down this fight? Why am I not on here? <laughs> Who the fuck is this dude? Liam Van Winkle from Liverpool? What is Robert Garcia going to do? He's going to tell him to go forward like the rest of Robert Garcia fighters. Use your chin for defense and hope, pray for the best. Put pressure on him, move forward, and use your face as your defense. I don't know who this guy is, but he's a fucking idiot. And why he's talking on a about breaking down a fight that he obviously has no knowledge about is fucking mind-boggling to me. He's just some old British fucking retard that wants Anthony Joshua's fucking jizz in his mouth. Let's continue. What he did in the past, with a little bit of the cautionary agent we saw against Ruiz, then it, the not only really wins, he wins well. Because I'll tell you one thing, we expected him to be Ruiz, especially when Ruiz weighed in because he lived in a fridge for the last three months. We expected him to be Ruiz. Like you? Most people don't expect him to be Ruiz. Not only do I expect him to be Ruiz, I expect him to be in, in style, look good doing it. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have to wait and see. But, uh, you know, the thing that corks me off, man, the thing that really pisses me off, again, and I say this again because this, okay. When he beat Joshua a little under a year ago, the first time, the story of this fight should have been Oleksandr Uzik defied the odds. He's the greatest, arguably the greatest cruiserweight champion in boxing history that moved up and beat the unif two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world as an underdog in his backyard of London. Instead, what the story became is and they're still pushing it, they're going to push it all the way up right into the fight, is that, it, well, if Anthony Joshua would have done this, he would have done this, he would have done this, he would have won the fight. He would have won the fight. He would have won the fight. No. The story of the fight is what I just told you. Okay? It's the greatest cruiserweight in boxing history who moved up, beat the odds, Beat the shit out of the fucking number one heavyweight in the world and became unified heavyweight champion. That's the story of the first fight. Not, well, if AJ could, could, could possibly uh, make some small adjustments, then maybe he could possibly uh, uh, bully, he could bully music. And, uh, you know, because Kilbrat Pulev was, was a tough Eastern Euro as well. And he, and he... Battered, he battered a forty-year-old Pulev up and down the ring, dear boy. And you know, uh, uh, Mrs. Pennyworth, uh, why don't you come over here and shut my cock? Oh, James, James the jokester, get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of my face! Anthony Joshua and his fans are pathetic. Eddie Hearn's fucking pathetic. Hopefully, this dude gets fucking splattered all over the can canvas on Saturday. I am eagerly anticipating this fight and i don't mean you know and i don't mean to bring up the race shit but it needs to be said people it, it, like you know it, it's really quite pathetic man like go uzik knock the fuck out of the golden boy again and hopefully we don't ever have to hear about this bitch anymore every hope everybody's having a great sunday god bless you and salute